This is a deep learning video on unsupervised feature learning from Henry AI Labs. This paper is going to show how uh, they can make these uh, auxiliary classes, which are also known as like exemplar classes, by augmenting images and then having the multi-class classifier predict the augmented classes. So the key idea is that you can do things like uh, rotations or color space augmentations to an original image to form a new class. And this is a uh, sort of like a self-supervised learning idea in the sense that you know it's unsupervised and that you don't have to label the data and you can still learn a useful representation but it's self-supervised in the sense that like the data kind of lends itself to this task so this plot shows the usefulness of the learn features with respect to the number of augmented classes so if you imagine with the um, you know with doing data augmentations like rotations translations color space transformations there's a, there's a huge set of possible ways you could do this, and there's a ton of different classes you could potentially uh, construct in this way. So they find that with around 4,000 auxiliary classes, they peak out with the classific classification accuracy by using the unsupervised features in a supervised task. So then this also shows another interesting consideration is, uh, you know, like how big should the augmented classes be? So this plot kind of shows that the performance levels off at around 16, maybe higher, with uh, respect to you construct 4,000 classes. Each class, again, is in augmentation. So it might be like 45 degree rotation plus, uh, you know, add 20 to the red color channel. And that's one class. And you have 4,000 of these classes and you have about 16, you know, augmented images in each class. And then this shows uh, a study they made on seeing, you know, which of the augmentations are the most impactful across different data sets. The STL10 is slightly higher resolution than CIFAR10, and yeah, Caltech is also a pretty high resolution aligned with STL. I mean, they're all low resolution, but in comparison with CIFAR10, the other two are higher resolution. But so anyway, so the plot shows that using all of the set of the transformations they had resulted in the best performance on average. So thanks for watching this video on unsupervised feature learning using, uh, you know, augmentation classes. Please subscribe to this channel and check out henryailabs.com for more deep learning videos and papers.